Life model is a fairly complex tool, so today I'll show you how to check the Poppy Playtime models using it. In the description, there's gonna be two links. Click on the first one, and it's gonna bring you to F model. Just hit download now, and it's gonna download the zip file. Choose wherever you downloaded that zip file. So I'll open up mine here. It's gonna be right here. You just want to go ahead and extract it using whatever you use. And after that, you can just open it up. After you open it up, a new update is gonna be available. So just hit the big blue button. It, it uses zip extractor, so just click yes. And it's going to be right here. Yours is not going to look like this, so I'm just going to reset it. It's going to look like this. In this little window, you're going to click add and detect a game. Choose the game. I'm obviously using Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. And I'm just going to copy this because after it's going to reset. On directory, click these three dots. Go ahead onto where your game is downloaded. It's normally under the map, so I'm just going to go ahead and head there. After you located your Poppy Playtime file, open Playtime Chapter 4, Chapter 4 Pro, and just click to select this content folder. After it's selected, click select folder. Just gonna paste my name back in here and click this big blue add button. Don't click OK yet. Click this file first. After that's done, you're gonna head and click OK. It's gonna tell you to restart, so just do that. And after it's back up, you're gonna see some errors. So we're just going to go into settings over in UE version. We're going to drop down. This is very important. You're going to select game UE5 underscore three. That's the current Unreal version that Playtime uses. So we're just going to swap that and hit OK. It's going to tell it to restart again. Just click OK. Normally models are located on the dispute talk folder. So I'm just going to hit double click. I'm going to extract characters, so I'm just going to go into content, chapter 4 pro, characters, and I'm going to use yarn to be so. Just going to head and double click this, and it's normally going to be this material instance. Double click that, and here he is. So you're going to see this U asset, double click it. Oh, and looks like we got an error. Once we get this error, we're going to go into settings. We're going to have to activate local mapping file. And now go into the second link of the description, click this button to download the raw file. After it's done downloading, we're going to go ahead to F model settings, hit these three buttons, go to wherever your mappy file is, go ahead and click it, click open and hit OK. Now, once we try to double click this, it will open up just fine. And if you want to extract a model, just right click export raw data or just save model once you extract your model you're gonna go into the F model folder output exports chapter 4 pro content chapter 4 pro characters and here's gonna be your character and models gonna be right in here you can also view the model through F model so just find any MI folder and double click it and 3d viewer will pop up and for some reason mine's a cube but don't worry about it textures are also fairly simple i'm gonna go into environment gameplay and i'm gonna extract some battery files once you double click a file the the preview is gonna pop up right here so you don't have to go file by file just to find the one you want so I'll, this is the one i want i'm just gonna right click it save image and it's gonna be located in the output again so i'm just gonna go ahead and there Exports chapter 4. Wait. Exports chapter 4. Content chapter 4 again. 
and it's gonna be an environment this time so I'm just gonna double click that double click assets gameplay and here's gonna be my battery file fairly simple as you can see it works so that's literally it for today hope you guys hope it works for you guys if you have any problems just feel free to comment that's it bye